I think he liked that. I think I angered him. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are building a no game pass house, but we are going to be renovating a noob's house. So as you can see, <laughs> um, Tommy, <laughs> this is not his name. I'm sorry. I think he named himself after a baseball player, but we have Tommy over here. <laughs> This is his house. He is going to be letting us work on his house today. And he is a Bloxburg noob because he doesn't build on here. He doesn't play. So he doesn't really know how to build. So this is what he made. And it's really good. It's a really great start. So we're just going to edit it a bit and then help him out basically. So <laughs> we have to kick him out. Sorry about that. You guys can feel free to build along to build this for your own house. So this is what we have. We're going to check out what he has in the interior. Um, <laughs> okay, so he doesn't have much. Um, but it's a great start. So I see that he has the necessary items outside we have like the plumbing items and a chair to boost your mood so that's a great start he also has a chimney so we're gonna remember to give him a better chimney so we're gonna begin okay so because this build does not have game passes see <laughs> um we're gonna have to delete the walls and then replace them so we're actually gonna get rid of this door and this wall anyway and we're gonna be replacing them so basically i am going to also have to get rid of this door and then this wall we'll replace those so don't worry so we are gonna grab the pillars so i'm gonna use the plain pillar and we're gonna place one in each corner i'm also gonna get rid of this fence real quick place one in the corner where he started we're going three squares back i would suggest going back like maybe a bit more but he just like placed it really close to the sidewalk but it's fine it'll still look fine so then we're going to copy this we're gonna place this pillar one square over and then one square up and then three squares over one square back three squares across one square in front of that pillar three squares over one square square back and then we're gonna delete this wall and then place one square over so just like that <laughs> it looks a little confusing we can replace the walls back because we're still gonna basically keep the same wall that he had we're just gonna extend it a bit so we're placing one right here and we're gonna color it dark stone gray and then you can place another wall right in front of that wall in between these two pillars and we're gonna color it light stone gray with the horizontal plank material because he said he wanted white walls and i think that's gonna look great so then you can copy that white wall and then we're gonna place three across and then back up one and then we're gonna switch back to the dark stone gray wall and place three across and then go back to the white walls and place one down three across back up one and then finish off with the dark stone gray wall over here we're going two four six seven squares back so we're gonna have to delete this wall and then we're gonna place a pillar seven squares back and then we can place one all the way over to this side in front of this pillar then we can replace his walls seven squares back and then in the back of the house as well so now his walls are back we just added new walls in the front just to kind of extend it out a bit so we left his walls basically the same and we just added to it so now we can place some windows i'm thinking of using the factory windows because i love these i'm gonna color them black with the seashell hue i love these factory windows i used these in my recent modern build over there <laughs> i just uploaded that the other day if you'd like to check it out so this build is kind of like a mini version of that house with no game passes so we're gonna place three factory windows on each white wall so just like this great so now let's grab a door so we're gonna get him a new door so let's go with this modern reveal pivoting door this one's super fancy his head is in the way <laughs> it's really nice i like it a lot so we're just coloring it black white with the seashell hue again okay so it's looking better so we're going to basically fix his roof up a bit so i think we're going to delete that wow that was expensive <laughs> let's try placing the slanted roof maybe so if we start at the white wall and then we go back three over three and then back up three and then if we color it i'm thinking like a dark stone gray with the roof metal roof material and then obviously recolor wall color and then copy that roof and then place it the same way on this white wall i don't know if this is gonna look good let's hope it does now i guess we can grab like the gable roof and we can start at this point right here and then all the way over to the other side and then we're just gonna go back wow that is kind of crazy <laughs> and if we increase its size a little bit maybe just once and then recolor it to match let's see how that looks yeah i guess it's like not too bad right i think it's better than before <laughs> we're gonna place some wall trim now so we are going to be adding some extra detail <laughs> so we're gonna use the flat crown molding and we're just gonna place that on each wall next we're gonna grab the short rail molding and we're gonna color it white and then white again with the brick material and then once again we're placing that on each wall okay i think it looks nice so far i like it we're definitely getting some more detail for him <laughs> 
By the way guys, the pants that he's wearing, I designed these myself. So if you guys would like to check these out and purchase them for yourself, he is modeling them. Um, you can find them in my inventory or you can find some altercations in my group store, Marlena's Sunflowers. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so the next thing I think I want to do is place some lamps out here for him. So he does have a light, which is great. He likes candles, I think. Um, maybe he doesn't. Well, I mean, he has two, so <laughs> I guess we could place those inside for him later. Replace those outside with these classic outdoor wall lamps. Very nice, in my opinion. I'll give him a linen color because that's such a pretty glow to the light bulb. <laughs> you know, look at that. It's very nice. So I don't think there's really much more to do with the exterior of the house itself, except to like landscape and everything. So we're going to place a walkway over here and like a patio kind of area. And I'm just going to color it concrete. Um, we're gonna have to move this stuff again. We'll place these inside for him because I think he likes them. <laughs> you know what he probably will need though? A garage. Um, we might have to add on a garage for him. It looks good. I've been observing the great work. I'll be quiet now. <laughs> Okay, good. I'm glad that he approves of it so far. <laughs> what if we grab this thing and we place it back here? So this will be his garage, I guess. So yeah, because I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know. He does not really have a car, so I'm sure he'll be fine with this if he ever invests in one. So we are going to basically landscape now. I'll just place a few pieces of grass around as I always do. And then maybe we'll place some flowers. Let's see what he has. He has not gardened at all. I will tell you that. <laughs> Look at that garden level one he has like almost nothing unlocked so i guess we'll just go with like the basic standard plants i'll probably color the flowers like a light yellow a light pink okay we only have one type of flower to use oh that's kind of sad i'm just placing some flowers and bushes in front of both the windows because he really doesn't have much so okay so i think i finished the plants so nothing crazy this is super simple and you don't need any gardening skills to place these plants so i think what we're gonna do is place a fence so i was thinking of using this small hedge placing one right here coloring it the same as like the grass color and then placing this steel cable railing placing two of them next to that small hedge coloring this part of it like a linen and then some white bars and then placing that small hedge over here next to those and then we can get rid of this fence over here for a bit we'll place it later for him and then i was oh no i don't know what oh i think he liked that oh no <laughs> I think I angered him. Oh, I'm so sorry. Wait, I think he wants his fence back. I was gonna move it over to this side so it's a little bit back more. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I'm not gonna delete his fireplace, I promise. We're just gonna place two of those fences over here and then once again, grab that hedge and let's see if the hedge works over here. Oh, it does, okay, perfect. So we're gonna do that same pattern on this side. So place the hedge first and then the steel cable railings and then you have to place the steel cable railings first on this side. I don't know why it's really weird without game passes, it just won't work. I think we could even place stepping stones for him, like these large stepping stones. We'll probably place two of them and color them like white with bricks and then maybe two more up here Ooh, that's nice some extra detail i think i'll do the same thing for the garage or this isn't even like a garage this is more like i don't know what this is outdoor garage it's okay we'll still place it for some detail and then i guess i'll just place like the fence over here again this is like a forgotten part of the house it's fine we don't have to worry about that <laughs> his bills he didn't pay his bills so the lights went out We'll have to worry about that later. We're gonna move his little backyard outdoor area back here. So I'm just going to kind of delete that. I think we can start it like over here. Hey Siri, reply no. Sorry, I got a message. <laughs> don't don't say the name <laughs> send having siri text people back sorry I, I can't though my hands are my keyboard anyway we're gonna place one fence here and then another fence and then we're gonna place one here every other square this time basically except like in the corners look it's making like an l shape the hedge is making like an l shape okay that will be his new backyard i guess oh my gosh i don't really like it for now we'll do that and then we'll give him a new like path and everything we'll do that at the end of the video though okay this is what it's looking like so far i I think it's pretty nice i'm actually kind of happy with it so i hope he is too so we're gonna work on the interior now um oh boy <laughs> Okay, so I think we're gonna start over here. So this is like four squares back from the white wall. And we're gonna place four walls over. And then we're gonna place one back 
and then three over and then we're gonna place three over here and then one back and then four over then we're gonna place three back here and then i think two back right there and then four down bedroom bathroom second bedroom second bathroom living room foyer area kitchen and dining and then this will be like a hallway so yeah we're gonna place the floor real quick so let's do that and then we're gonna paint the walls i don't know what color we're gonna use you guys know that i love these vertical planks so i think we're gonna use that with this brown so pretty okay so let's work on the living room first so to begin we should definitely place a carpet so i think we'll place this carpet like right over here and then we're gonna grab a chair i think we can use this simple sofa and then we can grab the chair that matches it because i think he likes these and then we can grab a table i like using this like rustic table because i like that little like design in the center of it and then we could place like a rustic tv stand maybe right in front of the window and then we'll give them a tv so let's do this one it's really cheap so we save money because we're running out of money and then we could like decorate it with some plants <laughs> okay we got some plants oh i just remember the wall color i think we're gonna go with mid gray so that's kind of like a light gray kind of color kind of white okay and then we can place the wall trim at the end so we need some light in here for sure i'm thinking of placing this candle like right here on this table and using linen again such a nice color i'm thinking of using this wood green material with linen maybe i think i'm gonna color the seats like dark stone gray and then white again and then we obviously have to retexture and recolor color the carpet <laughs> okay not terrible we're gonna need to place some windows over here though way too empty okay that's better and i think i might place a door back here there's gonna be a bathroom over here so i'll probably use like the brown and the black that we use for the front door oh and yeah we have to pay the bills so <laughs> we'll do that later and then i'm just gonna grab like another plant we're just gonna cheat in this corner just gonna place a plant to cover that up over here though we could grab like corner bookshelf i'm thinking of recoloring it a brown and the wood texture that we use the wood grain love that material and then i'm just gonna place some random decorations <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna give him pink slippers and he likes birds so we're gonna give him like a bird statue <laughs> pretty good start i'd say i think we might need like a lamp over here it's just a little too dim in this room so this is oh we have no lights okay <laughs> we're gonna have to pay the bills okay bills are paid so now we have some light so over here we're gonna place this door frame because this is like an extended hallway kind of thing that i was going for but before i do that i actually might delete these two walls real quick and place a pillar right here i'm gonna have to delete this wall real quick and then place one right there as well so we're using the plain wide door frame yeah that looks better and i'm gonna copy that door place one here and one there and that's it for now i'm gonna place a painting behind this chair though with a shelf and some books okay so this is the kitchen now so i think we're gonna go with the basic counter because we need to save money so i'm just gonna recolor it to white and then i'm gonna copy one over here and in the center we'll go this basic stove and then copy one more counter and then we'll place a fridge over here and then we're gonna grab that counter again and we're gonna place one over here and then one more next to it so we're making like an island over here and over here we're gonna place a dining table so we're using the simplicity table because it's so cheap and yeah we need to save the money we're gonna run out of money again so we're gonna place the log stool and then of course we have to recolor it and then we're gonna place a rose as a centerpiece not bad but i think we do need a window like right over here and then maybe we could use cabinets oh man we might go broke okay we're not even gonna bother coloring those but i will give him like a toaster over here and like a coffee maker then we'll just place some like decorations around like some utensils and stuff i think we're gonna go with some like string lights because this is so empty over here like the walls <laughs> there's like nothing over here i mean we could also probably place like a carpet one over here and we should also place like a stool like the simplicity stool <laughs> it's kind of bad but it's okay it's like really simple but that's also why we have plants to fill in these like weird gaps <laughs> some more utensils because like maybe that's not enough for you i don't know <laughs> i guess i'll just place like a microwave over here <laughs> oh my gosh we're running so low let's use this like plain chandelier because it's cheap 
and i'm thinking like one more painting okay that should be pretty good for the kitchen we don't really need too much he will have enough space if he wants to like cook food and stuff okay i gave him some more money so we are good for now i think i want to place this lamp in this corner again <laughs> those lamps are so nice they're really bright so we're gonna work on this room first i need to grab a plain door frame i think over here so he can like walk in and out of the bathroom and then i guess we'll grab that toilet that he used place that over there and then we can give him this like nice sink and then maybe like a shower thing over here and then we'll just decorate it with like toilet paper soap and a garbage okay so i also placed down a carpet as well as a mirror so we have some more like decorations in here for him so we are on this bedroom now so i think i'm going to get rid of this bed because he has that same one in this bedroom so we're going to replace it with a bed that's a bit bigger i think probably this like modern double bed we'll place that over there and then we can use this window again we'll use like two of them and then like let's center these and then recolor the bed i'm probably going to use like a gray and then i'm taking that lamp again <laughs> we're using this again because it's so nice and then we need like a dresser so probably this rustic dresser over here because it literally takes up a lot of space <laughs> i'm just gonna decorate it with like some books we could even place like a window behind it so it is really empty over here on the walls so i'm probably gonna place two paintings with shelves try to kind of like make it less empty you know i could place like a clock over here <laughs> we could give him like a carpet under the bed i'm probably just placing a book shelf over here this room is gonna have a lot of books yeah and he does not read so hopefully he's okay with this <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean this is good enough. We're on our final two rooms. Okay, so this is the bedroom So we're gonna use a small bed because he had this placed originally so I kind of want to leave it for him So i'm thinking of placing the bed like in this corner. Ooh, we could use this color cloudy gray is so nice We could outline it in gray. Wait, that's kind of sharp, right? I think that's kind of cool I'm gonna steal this carpet. This is a nice carpet I think we're gonna have room to place like a desk in here for him I'm also gonna grab this store frame thing. Just place that like over here. We can place a desk for him So first let's place like a dresser. We could place his dresser Dresser, like right next to the door okay he wants to go to bed <laughs> he just texted me he wants to go to bed um i have to hurry so we're just gonna quickly like um color this hopefully it looks good we're gonna give him like a nightstand though like this and then we should give him like an alarm clock so he doesn't oversleep honestly i think i'm just gonna place a dresser <laughs> up here okay i don't know if i like this bedroom that much <laughs> does that look good i don't know if this looks good <laughs> let's place like a painting in the center maybe let's just go for for a... <laughs> okay over here i think i'm gonna give him a desk let's do this desk right here okay so he has like his own little area to do some like work and then i'm gonna steal this chair again here's some paper and some books and some pens to write with and let's give him a candle so he can see um i think we're gonna like place that lamp again oh my gosh this is kind of annoying i'm sorry we'll place it right there so now he has plenty of light to see and then like a carpet that's nice maybe a painting i think i'm kind of going a bit overboard with this bedroom maybe ah i don't know oh we need plants over there though gotta make sure we have enough money for the bathroom that's the only thing oh in the backyard totally forgot he had a backyard oh no it's so empty over here i think we're placing a clock because I have no idea what else to give him. This is like a fine bedroom, I think. <laughs> okay, bathroom. So I think we're gonna switch it up and give him like a bathtub this time. And then we got like a carpet and a window. He could place like the toilet over here. He's gonna get the same sink as before. <laughs> I hope he does not mind. I think I'm gonna place this sink like next to the bathtub and we're literally out of money. <laughs> Luckily, we're basically finished. Okay, he's making some more money at the moment. So we're not gonna have like too much in this bathroom. <laughs> we'll have a bit. Maybe we'll have some like plants again. <laughs> These are just so easy to place. Like they're my go-to decoration. They take up so much space and they're also very nice. So, <laughs> wow, there we go. We have like, oh, this is not the best bathroom. Okay, so I think I'm gonna place one more window, maybe like over here in front of like this sink. Oh my gosh, yeah, this bathroom is definitely not my best work, but we're kind of limited with the money. So yeah, we're just gonna have to deal with it. I just remembered that. <laughs> he has a backyard so i think we're gonna get rid of this window and we're gonna place a door right here and then you come outside and here is his backyard so i'm gonna give him a nice camping chair because he loves these so we're gonna give him a nice chair place like two of them and then i'm gonna recolor the fire because it's a little bit like too bright 
Okay, we really don't have much to place back here. So just like a few plants. That's really all we can afford to do. <laughs> Maybe just like a flower and that's really it. <laughs> so, okay. So I think with that, we are finished. So yeah, I think it looks pretty nice. <laughs> Let's see an aerial view. Yeah, not terrible. Let's just pretend like that bathroom does not exist. And I think I kind of like this build. So let's go tour it and then see how he likes it as well. Okay, so let's go tour it and check it out and see how it all came out. I'm super excited. So I think it's super nice. I really like it. And I think it's nice for like a starter house, no game pass home. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with it, honestly. Like I think I would use this for my own no game pass home. So kind of jealous that it's on his plot and not mine. Okay, so let's go inside. Um, <laughs> he's already in there. So, okay, we can walk in. So first let's go and check out the living room. So pretty nice, pretty simple, but pretty spacious. Like, look at this. You have a lot of space to walk around in. You have some decorations. Yeah, pretty nice. I like it a lot. So cool living room. And over here we have our kitchen, of course. This is also very spacious. That's why this house is like really nice for role plays because look at how spacious it is. Like you can do so much in this kitchen. You can cook whatever you'd like. And look at this nice view at your garage. So I think that's really nice. And I love this little like aisle area. So, and you can tell I love the wood grain material on that stool. And then this kitchen table. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, okay. I think he likes the house. Um, that's great. Okay. So let's go over here. This is going to be the bathroom. Oh yeah. This bathroom is very simple. Yeah. We'll say that. Okay. But we didn't have too much money to work with. So yeah, but it's okay. I do really like these paintings in his bedroom room i hope he likes those not sure if he's going to though but they are pretty nice <laughs> he's walking around here's our second bedroom so this one's nice you have a desk so we can do some work over here i guess he likes it that's great okay and then you have of course your bed nice painting again i love those paintings yeah nice desk for your schoolwork. he's right about that you can get some stuff done over here a nice view yeah sure sure and over here is his final bathroom <laughs> why is he just staring at the plant um this one's actually kind of nice I think I was like totally just bullying this bathroom a bit ago, but I actually kind of like it now. Okay, so he likes the backyard view. That's good. I guess he's happy with this bathroom. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Nothing crazy. I do like it as well. So go through this door and you're back to his living room, right? And if you go out this door, we get to his backyard. He's on fire and he's like, this is a great view. <laughs> Yeah, so this is his backyard. I do like the way he designed it. So we pretty much kept his original design. You know, we kept his concept and we just kind of like added on to it a bit. This is my favorite. Okay, great. So he really likes this. <laughs> So I'm glad. Drop a comment. What's your favorite? He wants to know what your favorite room is from this build. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you liked this build. Please let me know your thoughts below how you think I did renovating his house. <laughs> um, I guess he's very happy with it as well. So this build I'd say is a success. <laughs> Thank you so much again and let me know your thoughts below and I will see you all in my next video. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs> oh, he just left.